Oh, this is Hamster. I'm on Woodland Hamster. This is my druid, okay? It's gonna be an introduction to a Gorsavol druid how-to video. Alright, this is gonna be for a guild uh, meta setup. Alright, so setup. Right now I'm going to be running Zealots Ascended with Monk Runes. My staff is, as such, uh, Ascended Zealots with Water and Transference. Okay, if you do not want to spend the 30 gold on Transference, go in something else for the most part. Uh, offhand weapon is Axe and Warhorn. You will be using this rotation uh, sparingly, okay? Start of the fight, and before you jump on an off draft, you put Warhorn 5 to get max... You you yourself can maintain max Fury, Swiftness, and 6 Might to the team, but then again, we have Revenants. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, either or. Okay, Warhorn does have a really good, nice, uh, and really nice uh, 13 to 18 second regen. Uh, I do not have Boon Duration on yet, but it's really good healing uh, over time. Okay, it's around 400, 600 per regen. Now the trinkets I have here, I set them up half Berserker Ascended trinkets and half uh, Exotic Magi trinkets as such. Uh, reason being is so that I can have the HP that I want. I want over I want over 18,000 HP because I feel comfortable around there. I keep prevents me from getting a spike down and stuff and all this other stuff from um, Seekers and Veiled Guardian and Gorsival. I can sort of tank his hits too. And also his little push mobs. Going full Zealot. Uh, ascended or Zealot Exotic would be kind of a bad choice unless uh, you know how to dodge or you're really lucky and you don't get spiked down by the mobs in Gorsful. Trait lines follow same trait lines that we have on the guild uh, forums. Okay, uh, skirmishing one one one, so uh, spotter and quick draw. Quick draw is for your staff three when you get off celestial avatar form or your warhorn five for the most part. That's gonna maintain that permanent quickness, uh, swiftness, sorry, and uh, fury and all that. Nature Magic, very important trait here is going to be Nature's Vengeance. This coincides with your two spirits here. So you have basically a half or almost permanent sort of uh, stability uptime okay, uh, from your Spirit of Nature because of the Pulse Boon uh, from your trait. And you also have regen, permanent regen to most of your team. Also, it coincides really well with Stone Spirit. You're going to have almost permanent protection to your team too. So with all that combined, uh, I'm running a, a Spirit build. So my utility bar is as follows, okay? I will be putting 30% or 35% more outgoing damage to the team, Condi damage, and raw DPS. Uh, with this setup, also I'm going to be doing uh, decent damage myself since I am Zealots and Magis. And my healing will be uh, quite high too because I have Spirits and a lot of Celestial Avatar here, okay? So again, Instinctive Reaction, Quickness when your health drops below threshold. You can swap that out for Bountiful Hunter, okay? Um, but then again, I take power, so power based on healing power, higher healing power, the more power you're going to get. So self damage over pet damage for the most part on this trait. And also here, fortifying bound, bond, uh, any boon you get is also shared for your pet. So if you get 30 second quickness for the most part, you get 30 second quickness on your pet. If you have 25 might, 25 might on your pet. So it's all, that's going to increase your overall outgoing damage because your pet's going to do a living shit ton of damage um, along with you. Okay? Because it's going to have permit protection, regen, all that stuff, and your pet. Uh, therefore, also, the region on your pet, when it does take damage, will charge your Celestial Avatar form a little bit faster also. Then you have Windborn Notes. Your Warhorn gives regen, so I put it up, and boom, some of the team has regen, and they have really good Fury and Swiftness. Again, I do not have Boon Duration on right now, but I have around, let's say, 70% Boon Duration if I wanted to, and that's a lot of uh, uh, boots to the team. And I get Nature's Vengeance. After that, I have Druid, a uh, standard setup. Uh, Three, two, one. So primal echoes for staff, and then all this stuff. Very important is grace of land and primal echoes. Staff heals do quite heal quite a lot. Four thousand, five thousand, six thousand for staff three, and all that stuff too. And then uh, grace of the land. Do take note that your trait uh, natural mender. Every time you heal someone, you get a stack, and then it increases your outgoing healing. Uh, your regen counts as a heal, so putting a regen up would Im indefinitely keep natural mender at max stacks for the most part. Therefore, you have a permanent 20% outgoing healing that will stack with your armor and your staff and also the food that you're getting out there. So you have a, around 50% outgoing healing with a druid here. Okay, Even if you were running kind of full zerker, a little bit of zealots too, you would still have some really good uh, pushes out there with your healing. And uh, that's about it for the intro. I'm going to be commenting, uh, commenting on how I do druids, where I put spirits, when to put spirits, want to save what stuff and want to spam everything else. I want to max out the DPS to the team. So I'm going to do a lot of activation of Celeste Avatar. 
do a quick spam and then turn it off right away. Doing that tactic, you get uh, Grace of the Land for 10 people for the most part, so it's 15% outgoing damage to 10 people almost immediately, and then your Grace of the Land, or your Celestia Avatar is still half bar uh, after you turn it off. So that means it's easier to charge and it's there right when you need it. Okay, it doesn't take forever, you know, you're not going to waste a lot of time trying to get it charged up. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna do a ready check and then we're gonna start. Jump with the tank, jump with the tank. Oh shit. Here, let me give the big tank again. Go, go, go. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Could be worse. Tank of shit, let me go. Alright, right now I'm gonna do landing and then put a frost uh, crit right away for the team, increasing DPS immediately. Alright, start off with a war horn, and then after that healing is here. Keep an eye on the Ellie bars, alright, putting a healing spirit, and then my thing is charged. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the PC phase, and we're going to the avatar form healing the team effectively. Alright, PC phase, grabbing my heal. Cool. Alright, popping my spirits, breaking them now, putting out the avatar form, and then going into uh, Ghost of Empowerment. Alright, now the team has about 15% outgoing damage increase. Alright, popping my uh, protection spirit at the edge here. Alright, keep an eye on the Ellie, healing them, boom, and then popping Celestia Avatar, maxing out the team DPS over here at the side. Okay. Putting as much Celestia Avatar as I can down on the team. Alright, going to Warhorn, pop Warhorn before I jump, okay. Tomato attack, and then jump off. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to land right on top of Gorsa, will take some fall damage so I can heal that up with Celestia Avatar. Damn, keep an eye on the team, and here we go. Start the avatar for a little bit. One, two, three seconds. Alright, spam a little bit more, and then turn it off. Now it's charging. Now I'm gonna have a full Celeste avatar in the middle. Okay, here I go. I'm popping my heal spirit, and healing with staff three, and then Celeste avatar, boom. Did not have a chance to do it. Putting a water spirit south, okay, where the alleys are for the most part, and then going to the main team over here, and uh, northwest. Having my pet spam F2 attack. This is a tiger, so it hits quite heavily. Okay, and I'm putting Celeste Avatar form on the guys, they have with some, uh, uh, bleh. They do have Grace of Land now, so it's 5% outgoing damage. I'm putting it on the NG and the Revenant over there too. Okay, now they're gonna have a big DPS increase. And I'm turning it off, popping a with some Empowerment, and then putting a, uh, Frost Spirit here for the team. That's a 35% outgoing damage. Now I'm charging my Celestial Avatar form. Alright, charging your form so that you have it ready for when Gorsable goes out of invulnerability state. Meteor showers on the... Forcible in about five seconds, guys. The charge soul is not dead yet. And then now, all right, wonderful. Here we go, invading, boom, and then going to Celeste Avatar form, getting that grace of land on the team right there. Uh, trying to get it on everyone here in the team. All right, turning it off now, charging it before his CC phase. Okay, charging it before his CC phase so that I have it up. Three seconds until two, one, zero. Now I have it up, and I'm going to heal the team through his CC phase. They are in the black, I'm going to heal that, boom. Maximizing it out, waiting for the tank to pull the buff. There we go. Alright, now turning it off, and then healing the tank manually with staff. Putting another uh, Ghost of Empowerment on the team, maxing out that DPS, popping my spirits again before I go anywhere, and boom. Another Celeste Avatar, maxing out the out outgoing DPS of the team here, uh, as much as I can. Spamming it on cooldown, turning it off now. Okay, putting a heal spirit on here. And jump in. Now landing, landing on top of Gorsival, I want to land right on top of him. Evade. And the next one is an evade and a healing team. Boom. Okay. Popping TA here. Healing team real quick. Get the Grace of the Land buff and then turning it off. Alright, now I make my way to middle. Put a uh, Frost Spirit in the middle. Go some Empowerment on the team on my way out. Okay. And boom. Alright, here's a Water Spirit in the middle. Popping TA for the team. Maxing out their, their HP bars. Heals for the P uh, Connie Water over here. And heals for the main team over here. There is no one up here, Northwest. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna focus on the NG and the Revan over there now, trying to give them more damage. Boom, there should be max out damage over there and max damage on the charge soul here. Now I'm popping Ghost Empowerment again for the team, increasing their outgoing damage while I'm doing mine. Alright, that's I think like 8,000 damage here. Popping another CA on recharge, uh, trying to max that out. Empowerment and CA, here we go to the team. More damage to them. Alright, keeping an eye on the Connie Warrior. Ellie, South Ellie, clear your orbs, please. Alright, here we go. CA, 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 stay out of those buff, uh, debuffs. Maxing out the HP heal. 
Hit that one orb over there, please. And I'm turning it off. I'm charging my Celestia Avatar form now, because I want it up when Gorsable is uh, out of in in vulnerability. Baiting next one. Okay, it is a smash. I'm going to heal the team. Get on egg. We're going to get egg. Here we go. We're going to get egg. Wonderful. All right, Celestia Avatar now. and turning it off. Okay, getting that buff for the team. Now six seconds until. All right. Go for empowerment and healing manually with the staff now. Now popping it, healing team, healing team. They're in the black boom. I'm healing the black damage. After that, I'm gonna go to south. Okay, with the team over here. Got my spirits, putting my spirits up. Right here on south. All right, healing team as they come to me. And boom, no one got egg. All right, people, I'm pushing that egg. All right, my spirits are down. I'm putting another glistening empowerment on the team. All right, with that, healing, 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 healing team, healing team. Get the wall, get the wall. And then jump, 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 jump. We have the damage, just jump. Here's the burn phase, guys. Max out DPS. Just keep going. Let's go. All right, Celestia so Avatar on the team, healing them as they jump down. All right, another uh, big burst heal right there. Get out of the egg. Get out of the egg. And then move to mid. Get them out of the egg. AOE. Let's go. All right, CC, CC. Wonderful. Good CC. All right, here we go. I'm healing the three people here. Get out of the egg, guys. All right, moving to the next. Uh, move to the next one. Thank. Next one. Next one. Next. Uh, next one. Southeast. Alright, so that's the avatar form healing team. I am a little bit of a concern here. And nope. We gotta break that wall. And it's alive. We lost one of the uh, jumpers. We're over, Wiki. Alright, good try, guys. We could have, I think we could have, we might have been able to just freaking burn him down on that one. Alright, here we go. Attempt number two. Yeah, me, sir. If, like, if we don't have the NSDPS, pull in the southwest. Then uh, we'll use the fourth updraft. We have a lot of time. Yeah, I tried on that part, but. If you guys can get an egg. Get egged under gorse, please, and meteor showers all over. Because people were getting were egged, and they were egged for a very long time. All right, ready, checking. I know, I know. All right, jumping. All right, again, I'm gonna start with Warhorn. Okay, I'm gonna start with Warhorn five on the team. Get that fury right away because again, uh, it's very important. Landing. Here we go. Putting a Fly spirit and heal spirit down and then got popping my glitch of empowerment. After that go to staff, find the Ellie, heal the Ellie over here, 4000 HP, good. Popping a protection here and then maxing out my Celestia Avatar. There we go. Now popping my Celestia Avatar form, healing the team. Through the uh, CC phase and through all the resale, wonderful, good. Popping all my spirits, turning them off, and then giving a glitch of empowerment to the team here. I'm attacking Gorsable, following the team, following the Zerg. Saving my elite spirit for after we glide. Here we go, popping in another glyph of um, yeah, another self avatar, getting that grace of land out as, as much as I can. Alright, spamming it, spamming it, spamming it. Heal to the team, make sure they have full HP before we glide at all times. Now, here we go. Now popping all my spirits here. Maximizing the team DPS before we jump. Alright, they should have around 30%. Go ahead and jump, jump, jump. Alright, land on top of Gorgeous guys, I will out heal the DPS. There we go, landing. And here's the staff heal manual, and then the clip and empowerment. Alright, here we go. Healing, healing, healing. That is his last smash that he just used, I think. And here we go, turning it off and popping all my spirits. Okay. Alright, we phased him. Alright, so let's go. Alright, good phase. Here I go, I pop another uh, Grace of the Land for the team, maximizing their DPS up to 5. I'm going to just put the NG and the uh, Rev with Grace of the Land now. So they should be having over there. I'm popping it again for the team here, alright? Rejuvenating ties and this one for the NG and the Rev at a distance. That means it's maintaining it. Alright, now popping a uh, Elemental Power and putting my Spot Spirit right here, alright? Right here, so that the team will get it on the way out. Now here we go, charging my Grace of the Land. I need to charge it fast. Because I want it up before Gorsable, or after, uh, right before Gorsable um, gets off the roll, literally. Alright, Ellie's get ready. Start casting Meteor Shower now on top of Gorsable. Wonderful, good job. Here we go. 
Manually healing, hopping gracefully to land now. Alright, getting the team HP bar to full. Get that Ellie up. Wonderful. Dan turning it off. It's on recharge now. Putting protection on the team with my spirit. Of oh, quick stand. I got quick stand. The other one. Alright, here we go. Healing the team manually with that. I'm about to pop my brace of land for the team. Here we go. I have just frozen. Oh, wonderful. There you go. Good breaks, good breaks. Alright, popping all my spirits. We're about to move through the wall. Alright, turning it off and then moving through the wall with these ten. Okay, most of empowerment keeping spamming. Uh, keep spamming it on the team. Alright, waiting for the smash and then boom, here I go with staff 3. Healing the smash. After that, let's say avatar form, grace of the land. Alright, maxing out auto uh, 1111 on the team here. Alright, maxing out my grace of the land. Now turning it off, putting a uh, frost spirit here, regen spirit, and maximizing DPS. Jump, 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 jump. Alright, wonderful. Land on top of Gorse. I will out heal it. Okay, I will out heal it. Max DPS on Gorse, please. Max DPS on Gorse. Boom, there's the smash. Here's the heal. Alright, and here's the grace of the land. Alright, turning it off now, alright? There's a glyph of empowerment, and turning off my spirits now. Next DPS on Gorse, guys. Next DPS on Gorse. Alright, wonderful. Alright, Ellie, get on these north orbs. Here's grace of the land on the main team here. Alright, I'm looking for the Ellie. There you go, I gotta heal. Ellie, you're getting the wrong one. Wonderful. Alright, here we go. Get some empowerment for the team. Alright, see the LA South. I'm gonna put a water spear over here on South to heal them. Get prot, and then also put my spotter right here. Alright, there we go. And then we're moving on to the next soul. Alright, popping my glyph of empowerment for a good uh, DPS boost. The team should have uh, half coverage on the, uh, the spotter. Alright, and spotter the cross spirit. That's pretty good DPS. Charging now. My plus uh, avatar form, killing the charged soul. There we go. Next one. Alright, maximizing team DPS again. Alright, get ready. Once it's the fourth, cast Meteor on Gorse. Get ready, get ready. Cast now, cast now. Meteor on Gorse now. Alright, wonderful. Here we go. Alright, waiting for the smash. And here we go. Smash, smash, smash. Healing it with my staff 3. Alright, get ready. Alright, egg, Meteor, Wild Fox, good. We are broken out. Wonderful. Healing team with Grace of the Land. Get ready for another smash. Or no, he just hit the CC phase. Alright, putting my elite here for extra healing. I do not have a uh, thing ready. Alright, let's go guys. Popping all my spirits, getting out. The southwest, let's go. Alright, healing the team here with my uh so the avatar form. Alright, healing the tank and then the rest of the team. Get him up, get him up, banner, banner, let's go. Come on, let's go, banner. Get up, let's go, get up, get ready to jump. Alright, jump, 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 jump. Alright, land on top of Gorse. Good job. Alright, we burn him here. Alright, putting Prod on the team here now. Alright. Nice DPS on Gorse. Here you go. I am charging my... Uh, Alright, let's go. Mid, 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 mid. Do not, do not touch that darkness. Here we go. Heals, 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 heals. Alright, max DPS on Gorse. We burn him here. Let's go. Alright, break us out, break us out. Let's get good break, good break. Here's another heal. Alright, and boom. My thing is on recharge. Max DPS on Gorse, Max DPS on Gorse, Max DPS on Gorse. Keep me on a team, charging, charging, and there is a heal stamp. Now oh, we didn't make it, we didn't make it. Alright, good DPS phases. We should just, I don't know, a little bit of DPS loss in the last part. At least for the most part, cast Meteors right before you tell it's on the middle, so that it hits him. It's a gigantic DPS boost, and Lao Fan too. Yeah. yeah. Alright, part 3 of the uh, Jude Gorsal video. Here we go. Again, starting off with Warhorn, doing a call of the wild as soon as I land on the other side. Here we go, jumping with the tank. I'm gonna land over here, a little bit offset to the right, and boom, tank has landed. Putting Fury on the first half of the team. Here we go. Healing and then evading. 
I go into staff now, putting my spirits all the way down for my elite, saving the elite. Alright, healing the team, healing the team. Maximizing grace of the land impact on the team. Here we go. Alright, now popping my spirit. I can't say that. I'm still popping my glyph of empowerment as soon as it's off, alright? Of uh, cooldown. I'm trying to put grace of land as much as I can on the team, too. Alright, here we go. Alright, he has one more smash left in him. After that, we have to go. Here we go. Alright, max DPS. Good job, good job. There's an anger spirit in the back. And jump down. Land on top of Gorse. I will out heal the fall damage. Alright, maximizing those HP bars. Turning my thing off. Alright, turning my spirits off. Here he goes. About to teleport to the middle. My, uh, that's the avatar form is recharged. I'm going to be using it momentarily. And here we go. TA is up. Maximizing the DPS on the team and also DPS output. Okay, here we go. I was splitting. Going northwest. Spirits are still in. Charging. We'll put them all here. Okay, right next to Gorsival. That's where we're going to get maximum effectiveness. Alright, now I'm going to go to north with this team here. Alright, giving them the Grace of the Land buff here. Okay, now saving it up. Okay, need to reserve my heals for when Gorsival actually comes out of that phase. Alright, get ready, get ready. Not yet. And meteor showers. Now, now, now. Meteor now. There's a smash. I'm healing with my staff 3 and then popping Grace of the land buff on a team. Turning it off right away. Okay, just a quick burst heal to out heal the damage that's already on them. Keeping up full HP. I do not want the Ellie getting spiked down at all. Alright, getting invaded. Alright, here we go. Popping my Celestial Avatar now on a DC phase because of all the retail that we're going to get. Okay, here we go. Out healing it. Boom. Popping all my spirits. We're about to move to the next to the next location. Now turning it off and moving with the tank. Okay, I'm moving with the tank, not behind it. Because I am the healer. If you can get here, I'm going to be healing them. Alright, here we go. It's a manual heal, alright? Every smash is a manual stat heal to be for the most part. Okay, now Grace of the Land all over the team. Alright, popping a Frost Spirit for them and then keep healing. I'm popping a Heal Spirit. With empowerment and jumping, jumping, jumping. Here we go, land on top of Gorse guys. Again, I will out heal the DPS that you're gonna take from him. There's a smash, manually heal it with Staff 3. Alright, here we go. And an empowerment and then popping my Spotter and Heal Spirit. Here we go. Alright, manually healing for the first one on my staff 3 and then basically land all over the team. Alright, now they are full HP. Okay, except for that one Ellie. <laughs> Alright, Ellie, I need that. Wonderful, good job. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna charge it up really soon and I'm gonna look for that Ellie right now. I'm looking for him. I see him, I see him. No, I do not. That's the wrong one. Here we go. There's the Ellie. Alright. Putting my heal spirit here and putting my spirits in position to where the team's gonna be. Alright. Get the Ellie up, get the Ellie up, get the Ellie up. Okay. Darkness, please. Get the darknesses. Keep my eye on these warriors here. They do need a little bit more healing. Okay. Get, make sure you guys get the debuff off of you. Wonderful. Okay, really good split. Alright, watch out for that. Get rid of get rid of some of these orbs, those mainly, alright. Alright, get ready. Meteors on Gorsival now, meteors on Gorsival now. Here we go. Alright, manual healing, and then here we go. Next one is egg. Make sure you guys either get egg under Gorsival or something like that. There we go. Alright, manual stack heals on Gorsival. There we go. And healing the team through the black, through the black, and there I go. Alright, they are full HP now. They were following the tank, following the tank, following the tank. Popping my spirit. Try I'm healing the tank. Here we go. Max DPS under. Alright, everyone got egg. Alright, we're broken free. 
healing, 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 raising, raising, raising. Max DPS, guys. Pull the spirits, please. Pull the spirits. Alright, get ready. Get on the edge. Get on the edge. Alright, let's go. Alright, land on top of Gorse. We got this. Alright, here we go. Landing on top of Gorse. I am out healing his DPS. Here we go. Alright, manual heal with the staff here. NG. Getting him up. Oh, shit. We're gonna lose one. Alright, max heals on max DPS and Gorse, please. Max DPS and Gorse, here we go. Alright, making sure I'm spamming Grace of D-Line on the team here. Debating, healing, boom. Alright, swing it off. And here's a water spirit. Max DPS on Gorse, please. We don't have enough DPS. Actually, lower DPS. Yeah. Alright, here we go. And healing the team. Alright, so that is a Druid video, how to heal for Gorsival. You want to keep an eye on everyone for the most part during CC phases. I uh, did a lot of did a lot of um, Ellie's, they went down a bit, and it's also the Warriors. You want to look out for that. So you have your visual on the top left of your bar. If anyone goes around near half HP or maybe even 3 fourths, look around for them. Start looking for them, alright? Uh, as you saw on my video, again, I saw the Ellie low HP. I did not have Celeste Avatar charged, but when he did come near, near me, I did a Staff 3 on him. After that, I got to, got a charge. I rezzed him and then started healing. All right. Also for the two, two Connie warriors or the Ellie and a Connie warrior on the southwest, they did have low HP, so I spam focus heals on them, and then I put a Celeste Avatar number four on top of the team to get that Grace of Land buff, which is plus 15 outgoing damage. I also put a lot of Glyph Empowerment there. As soon, almost as soon as it recharged, I put it on uh, Glyph Empowerment. Frost Spirit and then your Grace of Land for Celeste Avatar again. That is a good 30% outgoing DPS booster. That's allowing have the team, if not most of the team, to do their damage, uh, to do a lot more damage uh, than they normally would. Uh, stacked on the Chrono Master's Quickness and Alacrity also and all that, it's a gigantic team buff. And um, that's about it for this true video. Again, this is the spirits I run, the build, and all that. Uh, you want to pop your spirits, again, right after a CC, okay? You want to keep Frost Spirit around 3 seconds after a CC because you want the 10% damage. Um, added on to the plus 50% damage uh, that happens when you do break a boss's bar and then pop it. Also before you jump and glide you want to put a fast spirit right there or just save your fast spirit for the middle part when you actually have to go and do the bar. And hopefully this video was uh, helpful and will help you learn the thing you do because I'm sick and tired of going one-on-one -on -one teaching people while this video is here.